now is lunch. All my friends are in the creepateria. I can't let them see us together. Hey, Abby! In mountains, we begin new friendships over meal. Um, you know what? I usually just sit outside by myself. Hey, Frankie, over here. Oh, no. I will impress them with my keen observational skills. They are all very pretty. No, too obvious. Let's see. Your eyebrows, they are like mountain. You are short, like baby yeah. This outfit, I think you try much too hard. What time do these bracelet thingies come out? Three o'clock. Laguna's swim meet is at two o'clock, and she needs all the support she can get right now. You and your cold-blooded buddy should not come. I've been trying all day to be nice to you, and now you're rude to my friends? You hit me with a snowball for no reason. What did I ever do to you? I try so hard to make friends with them. Perhaps I am not meant to have friends yet. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm sad now. It's so surprising. Well, yes. You seem so cold. I didn't think you cared or, like, had any emotions. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I have to go to restroom. You gotta stop doing that! <laughs> Did you see the new ghoul and Frankie trapped together? They didn't even realize it was me that threw the first snowball. Now we just have to get the rest of the fear squad. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, that would have been embarrassing. I got it! When Cleo and her ghouls go down to talk to Laguna after the swim race, we'll come from behind and push them into the pool. Total embarrassment. They'll be sorry they ever messed with me. Come on. Look, I'm sorry I thought you threw the snowball at me. I should have known it was Torelai. That wasn't cool. So, will you come with me to warn my friends? No. What? Why not? Because I have better plan. No running. It's wet. Wow! Great race, Laguna! Thanks for coming, mates. Hey, where's Frankie? Oh, she couldn't come. She's all tied up. Ready? <laughs> wow, that was awesome! Thanks, Abby. I know to you I seem harsh, but where I'm from, air is very thin. We cannot waste our breath with pleasantries. It is just our way. Looks like you are no longer stuck with me. We'll be going now. Hey, wait! We were gonna go to the mall and hang at the coffin bean. You wanna go with? This I would like very much. <laughs> <laughs> They make such a cute couple. Not in the mood. If my brother and my best friend were embarrassing me in front of the whole school, I'd be in a bad mood too. <sighs> you know as well as I do, they don't belong together. It's just not right. They're just too different. Draculaura must really be crushing on Claude if she's actually eating lunch with him. I don't follow. She's a total hardcore vegetarian. She gets a woozy even at the sight of meat. I bet Claude doesn't even know she's a vegetarian. Oh, Frankie, you've given me the best idea. Cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. And boom, game over. <gasps> that was amazing. Claude, you know you have a big game tonight. What you need is a big bat. Jake. <laughs> Draculaura! What are you all staring at? Frankie, get me out of here! Draculaura! You're just going to chase after her now? Of course. She's not one of us, Claude. She sees a tiny piece of meat and she faints? You knew that would happen, didn't you? And you did it anyway. I hope you're proud of yourself. It's a monster high tradition to prank the graduating seniors in two weeks. We could use somebody like you. <sighs> you seem to have a natural talent for treachery. <sighs> Watch where you're going, Normie. A Normie in a monster school? Just transferred in. My cousin, Jackson. Your cousin's a Normie? It's a long story. Well, we can't just stonewall your cousin like that. Monster High is about being cool to everyone, no matter who or what you are. Even if what means normie. Hey, Jackson, got a spot over here for you. Drecky Laura? <laughs> I never should have done that to you. I don't even know why I was mad. I told myself that you were too different. 
But now I know it wasn't about you at all. It was about me being scared of losing my best friend. Can you ever forgive me? That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Of course I forgive you, silly. Our friendship is more important than me seeing Claude. It's a little weird for me, but I'll get over it. Besides, you're the only girl I know who's good enough for my brother. Go, Gil! Going for snacks. You guys want anything? I'll take a hamburger and a hot dog and... Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm cool. Go, Laguna! be a perfect shot for the fear bug. <laughs> Next. Did she call me? <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't speak zombie. <laughs> Cleo will sign your fear book now. Hey, I just got my fear book. Want to check it out? We look amazing. Maybe later, huh? We got to cram for our biteology final. I can recite all the elements in reverse order. Want to hear? Wow, um, I'm really late for that thing over there. Hey, congrats. There's some gnarly shots of you two in the fear book. How great is that? Awesome. Looks like our stars have arrived. I did a whole spread on just you and Gil. Everybody needs to know what a great team you are. And now, they will. Signing all those fear books was hard work. The price of fame. Mm. Mr. Rotter, you make dead languages live again. Well, I did learn them in the original. What? Least denial. If you're planning on using those for some sort of graduation prank, I strongly suggest you reconsider. No idea how those got here. You better keep your eye on that fear leading team, Mr. Rotter. This one's my favorite. Gil, which one do you like best? I don't know. They're all terrible. I know. She should have used a fisheye lens. Not that. I need to tell you something. Okay. I never told my parents about us. You lied to me? How could you? You know how they feel about saltwater folk. They threatened to send me to an underwater boarding school if I kept hanging out with you. I had no choice. I'm gonna be late for the big test. Laguna, wait. Pencils down, pass your exams to the front. How did you do? Nailed it like a coffin, sister. <laughs> <sighs> Rotten gargoyle eggs? Is the fear-leading team planning something I should know about? No, sir! I don't know where these came from. So you say. I think I know how to fix this. You're gonna tell your folks about us? No, I just won't show them the fear book. They don't need to know. Either you agree with them or you don't. And if you don't, then you need to do something about it instead of acting like a frightened dingo. I don't even know who you are anymore. I just need Gil and Laguna, and then I've got everybody's signature. Hey, you dropped this. Wait, this isn't mine. What is it? Recipe for stink bombs. Weird. What happens if I tell them and they send me away? Then I'd lose you forever. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. You can't let their prejudice run your life. Sign my fear book? Oh, uh, sure. This is the first year they're putting a copy online, too. What? Yeah, they're emailing it to everybody's parents. Isn't that cool? I think it is. What do you think, teammate? <laughs> Torlai is behind all of this? <laughs> it makes perfect sense. That fraudulent feline's trying to set us up. When your parents see that pic of you and Laguna in the fear book, they are gonna blow up! I gotta call them and explain that it was all a big misunderstanding. Hey, Mom, I need to explain something to you and Dad. <laughs> Laguna, wait. You've always taught me that saltwater people weren't as good as us freshwater people. You said that they were untrustworthy, uneducated, that they smelled terrible. Hey! But above all that, that they were dishonest. Well, now I know that you were wrong. I have a, um, friend, and she's the most honest, decent, amazing monster I know. She's from the sea. What did they say? They don't feel the same way, but I've never felt better. So... Hey, um, see you at swim practice, pal? Yeah, see you there, mate. 
we know it was you. Don't try to deny it. The most perfectly epic plan ever. Of course it was me. <sighs> That's right, Guglia. The balloons will fall at the end of graduation, and one of them contains a spoiled gargoyle egg, releasing an ectoplasmic stink bomb. And Mr. Rotter is going to think it was us! Exactly. Then you'll be expelled. But why? Because with you gone, the fear squad is ours for the taking. We'll rule the school. <laughs> You just admitted your plan to us. How dumb is that? It's too late. Graduation already started. Come on, let's go. They'll never make it. Lantern, Jack, Roll, Man, Oog, E. We'll never find the right one in time. This is a perfect spot to watch the show. I can smell it. I know which one it is. It's there. Great, we know which one. How are we going to get up there? Why don't we do what we do best? I can't get high enough! Reaper, Grim, D. We gotta hurry, we're running out of time. Hey, Frankie, lend me a hand. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Goya, on your computer when important things are happening. <gasps> 800 math credits each? Goya, you're a genius! <laughs> Three of our students have achieved the highest math scores in the history of Monster High. They are awarded full scholarships to attend the prestigious Trigula Calculometry Summer Camp effective immediately. I wonder who those three uber nerds are. School is over? It went by so fast. Are uh, we gonna get to see each other at all over the summer? I'm sure my parents are mad now. They'll come around. I hope you're right, Freshie. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. The worst part about school ending? I'm realizing your brother left his old gym socks in your locker? Gross. No, missing out on all the juicy gossip. Which is why I signed up for auto-updates on the ghostly gossip. What's that? Only like the foremost authority on the Monster High social scene. If it's happening, she blogs about it. Who is she? Nobody knows. She's like a mystery dipped in secret sauce. Oh, can Gil and Laguna survive the summer? <laughs> Drama! Come on, Manny. Can't you give me a break? Sure, Normie. What do you want me to break? Your glasses or your arms? Against the rules, the bully. Who are you calling a bull? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? <laughs> Leave him alone. Thanks, uh... Frankie, I know how hard it is being the new kid here. I mean, like, you don't fit in. I fit in my lockers, trash cans. You'd be surprised what those guys fit me into. I'm, um, Jackson. Nice to meet you, um, Jackson. <laughs> We can't let my dad find out that I broke my eye coffin. It's just one more thing he'll use to compare me to my older sister, Nephera. Thank Ra she's out of the country, too. Uh... She once threw a huge party. She blamed it on me. And that's why I'm never allowed to have a big party at my place when my dad's out of town. Cleo's dad out of town. Big party at her place tonight. Big party at Cleo's house tonight? It's all over the school. Do you want to go to Cleo's party with me? Um, sure. I, I mean, I, I want to. You're nervous around monsters, but you'll be with me. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> uh, I mean, cool. Whatevs. <laughs> Meet you there. Wow. Careful. How do we get in? Like this. She sees that. Yeah. For sure. Where is Cleo anyway? She's out getting her new phone. Wait, how did she send the text about the party? Well, she didn't. The ghostly gossip did. Oh, <gasps> so Cleo doesn't even know about this? Oh, no. That means we broke, broke in. in. Quick, we've got to get everyone out before. Oh, my. Raw. Um, uh, we can explain. You threw a party for me? <gasps> awesome. Come on, come on, come on.
So far. He hasn't returned any of me texts or emails. His folks were pretty aggro about him being with me. It's the first day of vacation. Uh, he's probably just busy. Yeah, sure. Hey, Heath, have you seen your cousin? He was supposed to meet me here. You got stood up by Jackson? Awesome! Oh, eh, but don't feel too bad about it. What do you expect? He's a normie. Just go in there. You can do this. No, you can't. They don't belong. Nobody wants you there. Frankie does. She's not dumping you, dude. She totally is. I eat like a pig. Typical wolf behavior. Of course Dracula is gonna be too embarrassed to be with me. Yo, this ain't a party. <laughs> this is a party! Yeah! Let's do this. Your boy, hold hide on the squeals of steel. Yeah! Yo, high-powered hottie. Who, me? Yeah, you're the only one electric enough to save me! Alright, Frankie Feinstein saves the day! Yeah! Oh, please. I know I'm an animal, but I can change. If you just give me another chance... I don't want you to change, silly. Then why'd you push me away? Because you are eating garlic. I'm a vampire. I can't be around you when you eat that. Now go brush your teeth and we'll dance. <laughs> this party really got out of hand. Every monster who's any monster showed up. There's already dozens of pictures up on the ghostly gossip. Remember when his sister Nephera threw that bash and blamed it on Cleo? I'm worried about it getting into trouble. She was grounded for a month. Big shout out to Cleo for throwing the bash of the century. Whoa! Even when I don't know about it, I still throw the best parties. Yeah, but if your dad finds out my father is out of town, he won't find out unless somebody tells him. And who would do that? That would be me. Never! What are you doing back? Don't worry your mediocre-looking little head about that. You've got bigger things to worry about. Like how to keep me from telling Dad about this party. Please don't tell him! I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. Prepare yourself, little sister. This is going to be the worst summer of your life. <laughs> What's the matter with Gulia? Didn't you hear? Her parents won't let her go to Necrocon this year. Oh. Uh, wasn't today the last day? She was waiting all summer for this. Dead Fast is her favorite comic. She has every issue. Except one. The scarce and elusive Dead Fast issue zero. Only one copy is known to exist, and they were going to raffle it off today at Necrocon to one lucky monster. And her dream is to be that monster. But she can't go. I just wish there was something we could do. Mild-mannered high school student Gulia Yelps finds herself at the Necrocon, surrounded by her fellow nerd, uh, comic book lovers. Great galloping ghost! Is it? Can it be? Yes! It's a mint condition. Dead fast. Issue zero. The rarest comic book known to man or monster. <laughs> Tis I, the Shadow Poacher. Behold your precious comic book now. I shall destroy its value. Oh, the humanity! Can anyone stop the Shadow Poacher before it's too late? <laughs> Bitten by a radioactive hummingbird, mm, dead fast. Once a normal zombie boy has been granted the power of super speed. And now, those same powers have been transferred to his number one fan. Go get him, Kulia. Taking it out of its protective sleeve. And for my final act of disrespect, I shall leaf through its pristine pages while drinking a sticky soda and eating cheese puffs. How the 
did you get up here? Never matter. Have a nice trip. Um... Julia, you've defeated the evil Shadow Poacher and restored the comic to its rightful place. Comic book lovers everywhere owe you a debt of gratitude. Uh... Leo, I can't believe you were able to get that for her. It's easy to win a raffle when you can make all 10,000 of your servants enter. That is so sweet of you, love. Well, she does so much for me. I thought I should do something nice for her. But don't tell anyone. It'll totally ruin my rep. You know the only thing good about summer being over? Back, Back to, to school, school shopping. shopping! Hi, home goals. Show and tell time. Let's see what you got. Oh, cute earrings, ghoul. Burberry. Sweet bag. Is that the new box Nacobs? Oh, the John Mall Ghost DA. Oh, boy, boy. Cabana. Sasquatchy. Cadaver. Here you go. Laguna, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just... Well, I haven't heard from Gil all summer. I'm worried about him, you know? Well, don't be worried. He's probably just busy. <gasps> wow! I bow to your superior shopping ability. As much as I love people bowing to me, none of this is for me. What? It's all for my sister, Nefera. I can't believe she's still blackmailing you for the party. Believe it. She makes me wait on her hand and foot. Your sister's so mean. My gorgeous, perfectly shaped ears are burning. I don't mind when people talk about me. It's when they stop talking about you that you have to worry. Well, well, well. Very nice. I want them. What? <laughs> I want all this. No way! Fine. Then I'll just tell my father about Cleo's huge party when he was out of town. He may only ground her for a year. You win. That's it. Here, according to your watch, I mean my watch, I'm going to be late for the salon. I'll be back. Miss me. I don't think I've ever met someone as low down and despicable as Nephra. Just when you thought our day couldn't get any worse, Torelai and her girls are back. She's gonna be gunning for us. We've got bigger problems to deal with, like stopping my sister. Yeah, I got more shopping to do, but forget it. Nephra's just gonna take it anyways. Did you see that Nephra's back in town? She's always wearing the new trends weeks before anybody else. Let's go see what Nephra buys so we can steal her look. Let's go shopping. What's going on? <laughs> you all look ridiculous. These are the hottest trends of the season. They're in all the magazines. We're the first to wear them. They haven't even seen them here yet. But being a world-famous model, you already knew that, didn't you, Nefera? Of course I knew that. I was merely, um, testing you. Please, don't take these from us. They can't be replaced. Hand them over. I can pull off this look. You guys, not so much. You're absolutely right. Now, I think I'll walk around the mall and bask in all the jealous looks I get. Ta-ta. Never is never going to be able to show her face in the mall again. Oh, my raw! This is the best day of my life. Um, just when you thought this day couldn't get any better. You look hot. <laughs> Books for you, baby. My name not is Baby. It is Abby. <sighs> Ugh, I can't believe we're back at school already. I like starting school. All the mystery and excitement. I bet this year is going to be shocking. <laughs> Why are these things so small? It's the same locker you had last year. Yes, but I have a whole year's worth of new clothes now. Plus makeup, shoes, color-coordinated handbags. Books. School supplies. Yes, there's room. Need a hand? Ooh, so strong. What's from the ghostly gossip? New girl gives heat burns the cold shoulder. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Who has time for new ghouls? Right. <laughs> hey, I was a new girl. Ooh, I'm dying to know who I have for Vitology. Has anyone seen Laguna? Uh... You're right, Guya. She's probably with Gil. They haven't seen each other all summer. I've taken the liberty of enrolling you in every 
advanced math class we offer. Oh, no! I know you're up <laughs> to the challenge. Hey, Torlai, how was your summer vacation? <laughs> oh, right! You didn't get one because you were at math camp the whole time. You're the ones who got me sent there by messing around with the test scores. Serves you right. You were trying to get the fear leading team disbanded. Who says I'm done? Anyway, it's not like I learned anything at that stupid math camp. What's the square root of 568? 23.832. Hey! Laguna, what's wrong? It's Gil. His parents were so mad they sent him away to another school. <gasps> Laguna! Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Frankie. Missed you at Cleo's party. Yeah, I was gonna show up, but I uh, had to change. Hey, new girl, our seats. I stay. Do you know who I am? Mean girl with sandpaper tongue. Oh. Take your seats, everyone. Class books open to page one. Hey! Claudine was right about new ghouls. Ugh. You want game? I give you game. You too. Principal's office, now! <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I've never been in trouble before. Aren't you worried? You threw Snowball at me first. Principal will bring Hammer down on you. <gasps> but I didn't. This is all a big misunderstanding. I understand perfectly. You want war with Abby? You get war. We simply cannot have this kind of behavior. Monster High stands for acceptance, understanding, and tolerance. To help you learn these qualities, you will spend the entire day together. What? Not possible. These magic bracelets will bond you together. You must stay less than three feet apart until three o'clock. You will spend every second together until then, and I think learn something valuable. And if more than three feet apart, the study howl of eternal homework. <laughs> oh, and fiery demons will descend upon both your homes, but mostly that study howl of eternal homework thing. Okay, being stuck with you is less than the ideal sitch, but I say we make the best of it. Just tell me, why did you start the snowball fight? I don't get it. I mean, I'll totally understand. I'm very understanding. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> this I don't get. This Frankie acts so nice. But then why she does these lies to me? It was you who was instigator. Well, guess you don't want to tell me. We'll deal with that later. So, where are you from? Mountaintop in Himalayas. Oh, cool. Which one? I think you would not know. Oh, okay. Um, I really like your necklace. This small talk is not necessary. People here talk too much about too little. Sometimes it's better to just close the mouth. Wow. Rude. But I am not rude. I am helping to save her breath. So confusing. Frankie does not like me already. We must get to class. You're right. I can't get another tardy or I'll be in Toad's trouble. Let's go. We'll make her like me more by showing most efficient route to class. Hey, wait, wait. We have to stay together. Stop. I fix. <sighs> Aw, you ruined it. I can't drink this. But that is how we drink it in the mountains. It's the best. I hoped she would love this. Hey, baby. Uh, I mean, Abby. Uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Burns. Heath Burns. Wow, cold hands. <laughs> uh, but I know how to warm your heart. Glacial facial. This Heath, he is Hailstone that thinks it is Iceborg. Yeah, that's him. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you better run. Didn't I tell you I hate red? <laughs> Rules say no horseplay in hall. This includes the bull. <laughs> Wow, you really saved my bolts right there. Do not mention it. Hey! Eh, <laughs> such a cretin. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone.
But now you're feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own 